Hello, it's Beth from Be Styled. Hello, welcome to Tipsy Tuesday. Coming to you live on a really snowy day in Newport, Rhode Island, our first snowstorm of the year. And um, we, my husband and I, do not own a snow shovel, we discovered, and we couldn't find one in our house, so he had to go across the street and borrow one to dig out, um, you had to shovel your own sidewalk here, so dig out the sidewalk and dig out the car, although we don't need the car right now. But um, yeah, first snowstorm in Newport. We don't get snow here because we're on an island. So um, it's, kind of, it's kind of nice. I took the dogs out for a walk, had to walk in the middle of Thames Street because the sidewalks weren't shoveled yet. Um, but it was beautiful. It's kind of a nice, kind of nice. And it's going to be warmer later this week, so hopefully it'll go away. But today I want to talk about spring transitional dressing because, um, I mean, I was just in Florida this past week. It was 80, 80, 90 degrees. It was, there, there's a heat wave in a lot of parts of the country. I know DC had like 80 degrees this past weekend. Um, so other parts of the country, I know, not so much. You know, New England and the Northeast is getting snow. A lot of people are freezing. It's cold here. I'm freezing. My hands are cold. Can't wait to get a cup of coffee after this. But um, the weather's wacky. Ca snow in California. But spring is coming. It's exactly uh, three weeks from yesterday. It's the first day of spring. Um, so we got to get ready. It's fun to get ready. Spring's my favorite season to dress for. Um, sometimes I say it's fall. I really think it's spring because I just, I love spring because I know it means summer's coming and I love the color and I love that winter's over. So um, let's talk about four key things to consider when you're transitioning into spring from winter. One is balance. Two is color and fabric mostly color. Um, three, I'm gonna look at my notes. Three is layering, the importance of layering. And four is shoes, because as we all know, shoes are the hardest, pants and shoes are the hardest. But this time of year, shoes are tricky. So I have a couple things to share about shoes as well. But um, in thinking about balance, I wanna talk about taking your winter pieces, your go-to winter pieces, and figuring out how to, to make them still work in this transitional stage where you're still cold or it starts out cold maybe. Um, you're not necessarily, you're not just, you're not gonna go switch your closet over. At least, at least if you're in a climate like, like mine, you're not gonna, I'm not switching my closet over to spring. I'm not doing a bunch of spring shopping right now. Um, but I, I, you know, I wanna kind of springify my winter go-tos. Again, all this is gonna gonna differ if you live in a really warm climate. It's you're you're already you're already in your summer clothes, baby. Um, but for those of us who do have these transitional seasons, um, that's kind of who I'm who I'm addressing this to. But um, balance is key. And I think about when I was a kid, and um, do you remember when we? It's not. It's, I don't know if it's still a thing. In some parts of the country, it is. So Easter was always a big deal for like little girls. You know, you get your new Easter outfit and you would wear it on Easter. And my mother was very, very kind of like, she hated rushing the season. She hated anything that was just like, she, she was just, she, she was kind of a practical but fashionable dresser. And, you know, I was a young girl, so I was not either. And it was, it was Easter. Spring was coming. I had a new outfit. I didn't care what the weather was. I was wearing that silly, you know, spring floral eyelet, you know, above the knee dress, and it was 40 degrees outside. Didn't matter to me, but Mary was like, no, no, Beth, but I was like, yes, <laughs> it's my Easter dress. I'm wearing it, so, um, and I still see it, you know, you see it in church on Sunday. You see these girls, like, it's freezing out, and they're wearing their, like, summer, spring dress, so uh, we all did it, but this is what just, we're not, we're none of us here are doing that, right? No, we're not. But what we are guilty of doing, I think, you know, all of us, is when it is one of those nice spring light days, but it's still a little chilly, you break out, what's, what's a good example? I don't know, like a springy outfit. It could be a dress, doesn't have to be. Maybe, let's say it is like a floral maxi dress or midi dress. Uh, maxi dresses are gonna be more popular, happily for me, I think, than mini midi dresses this season, just FYI. Not necessarily to the ground maxi dresses, but you know, that great above the ankle level length. 
is going to be more popular this season than that midi length, which is more like mid calf that I always say, ooh, it's tricky because it, if it ends at the widest part of your calf, it's not great. So good news on, on the, the, the dress length front. But let's say you're wearing a floral dress and it's still kind of chilly out. What are you not going to do? You're not going to throw on your, you know, in my case, my Helly Hansen long black puffer coat, right? Just because it's cold out because I want to wear this dress. I mean, that's an extreme example. I don't think any of us are going to do that, but you get the idea. You, you need to balance. So if you're wearing a, a springy dress and it's still chilly, you, you need to go with a layer to keep yourself warm that's, that, that makes sense. That's not, you know... A big buffer coat. So examples, you might want to pull out your wool coat, like a wool coat that maybe you haven't been wearing in the winter because it's just not that warm. Example, this is a Bowdoin coat that I, I, I actually love it with. I love it with the yellow um, that I've had for years and years and years. And it's, I don't wear it much in the winter because it's just not warm enough. But this time of year, I mean, I've worn this on Easter. Perfect example of a great thing to wear on Easter if it's cold. It's a wool coat, but it's a great color. And I almost wear this. It doesn't really matter what I wear under it because I keep this on and it's almost like a dress. This coat becomes like my, my Easter dress, okay? Um, so, but, so instead of your big winter coat, think about your wool, whether it's a pea coat or that, that coat you love but because your weather doesn't allow you to wear it all winter, you don't get to wear it. Well, spring is a great time to wear it. Okay, um, let's talk about what I have on. I, knowing that I was going to talk about this, I pulled out a color sweater. This is this is a sweater. This is a warm sweater. It's not thick and chunky, but it's a. I don't know what it's made out of. It's co to toasty warm, but it's definitely a spring sweater. Um, isn't it fun? This is from the new cabbie collection that I love. But I'm cold. This is not going to be warm enough for me in this cold house of mine. So I could have chosen to throw, I, what I always do personally, just given my lifestyle, my casual lifestyle, I'm a cardigan girl. If I'm at home, I'm putting a cardigan on over a sweater like this. Um, and so in the, you know, and I would, I've worn this sweater in the winter. I would wear this sweater in the winter just because it's yellow doesn't mean you can't wear it in the winter. But in the winter, um, I probably would pull out, I love gray gray and yellow. I would pull out my go-to, you've seen this a million times, this is my Quince cashmere boyfriend cardigan. Um, and I would be, I would wear this. But that's my kind of like a, a winter combination. Now that I'm transitioning to spring, I chose white. This is still, this is equally as warm. This is my Amazon, I've had this for years. I will link these, these items. Um, some of you might already have this. This is a, you can see it's textured. It's, you know, plush. It's a plush, long, mid-thigh cardigan. But because it's white, it works with the white cardigan. It reads, you know, sunny and bright, and but it's warm and wintry. And I'm just wearing it with jeans. Okay, so for jeans. Rather than wearing black pants or dark wash jeans this time of year, um, or actually even all winter, I prefer a more medium or even as it gets closer to spring, lighter wash jeans. Just think about lightening things up. You don't have to go to your linens and your lightweight cottons. You can still wear, you know, corduroy or um, heavy twills, heavy denim, but think about lightening things up color wise as you go into the into the spring. Um, white denim, tans, off-white cargo pants are huge. Olive, huge this spring. They don't have to have big, huge, bulky pockets. You know, when you think cargo pants, a lot of people say, oh, I can't wear pocket, I can't wear cargo pants because, you know, I'm a pear shape. I don't want to add bulk. They're, they're, they're doing a good job of making cargo pants that are still can be kind of sleek. They're not going to have big, chunky pockets. They will have those. Those you're going to you're not going to go for, but um, cargo pants, big trend, and I, I think it's fun. I have a pair of pants. Where are they? Nope. They are not necessarily a cargo pants, but they have the look. I took them to Florida. Maybe I didn't put them back. 
They are, they're called the, the compass pants from Cabby. They are an off-white, bear with me, where are they? They're an off, here they are. They're an off-white, heavy twill, I guess, fabric. Um, they, they aren't a traditional cargo pant in that they don't have pockets on the side, but they have like these kind of long pockets. They are sort of a slim fit. They're not skinny, but they're a slim fit, so they're not so voluminous. They have nice flat pockets on the back, which I personally like for my flat butt. Gives it a little bit of shape. Um, pants like this. They're thick and heavy, but they're lighter in color, and they're slightly, you know, they're not too long. On me, they're sort of cropped. On some people, they'll be longer. You can wear these with booties and a and a sweater. You can wear them with what I have on, and you're, you're but then you're still going to be able to wear them all spring and summer as well. It's just what you style them with, okay? So, um, lightening things up. You can if you're if you're a neutral if you're a neutral girl and you love wearing all neutrals, think about swapping your your blacks and your dark dark browns and dark camels with your tans and grays olive lightening things up on the neutral front as well if you're a color girl then have at it they're all colors you know everyone asks what's the color of the year I, i'm seeing everything i'm seeing a lot of yellow seeing a lot of chartreuse lime green um they call you know dopamine dressing is huge the bright saturated colors um but in addition to that so are Pastels, huge. Pastels are huge. Um, purple, if you're a purple girl, purple is having having a moment. So is, you know, lavender. I prefer lavender personally, but both lavender and purple, purple and lavender worn together, different shades of pink worn together. Anything goes this season when it comes to color. Um, and, and pairing unexpected colors together, you know, pinks, pink and yellow, pink and red. Um, it's, it's all, it's, it's, you're going to see all of that. So now is a great time to start pulling out your, even your winter sweaters that are colorful and, and opting for those instead of your black, gray, tan camels that we've all been reaching for. Um, and just wear those, wear those with your joggers and your, your, your white sneakers and you're going to be warm and weather appropriate, but have a little bit of color to show that you know spring is coming um let's see I'm, i had notes and now i'm just i've got i've gone off script <laughs> balance color fabric what else do i want to say about color um yeah anything goes all right sorry let me see if anyone has any questions thank you so much my dear friend who's that who is that nice person i can't see she Wow, whoever you are, thank you. Thank you for being here and being patient with me. I've had I had I've had a week. Let me tell you, I had a great weekend in Florida. Had a rough start, long story, but ended up having a great time. Last week was not good though. That's why I was not here. I went to Ohio for the weekend, had a great time, and came home, sick, came home and on Monday was sick as a dog in bed all day. Got up Monday night, believe it or not, to put on a stupid outfit to take a picture for my job I had to that day. And in the process of like, must have been pulling pants on or something, tweaked my back and was in hideous pain all week until well into the weekend. It finally, in Florida, it got better thanks to the thanks to the hot tub and just maybe being relaxed. I don't know, but I'm better now. And I digress. Um, Let's talk about layering, okay? <laughs> layering, I want to give you an example of um, a way to layer. I have an actual example here. What I like to do is start with a either a short sleeve, depending, again, all this is gonna depend on your weather. Let's say it's gonna get really warm later in the day, but it's chilly. You know, either a shell short sleeve or a light long sleeve layer that can stand on its own, top. That can stand on its own whether it's a blouse a shell a t-shirt all depends on your day start with that and then a layer on top of that whether it's a sweater um, a hoodie a cardigan and then a jacket on top of that 
and the and, and having them all work together so it's an outfit as you know with, with those three pieces but they can all come off and you can put them back on in different combinations if you need to if you're away from home and you want to mix and match but here's just a basic example that I threw together from my closet let's start with a sleeveless top speaking of lavender purple pretty lavender sleeveless top um, this is called the bouquet top from cabbie just a nice v-neck has a little bit of a design in it sleeveless top so this I could would stand on its own beautifully but it's cold so I'm going to put on a layer here is a I could put on the sweater I have on if it's chilly here is a uh, it's kind of a moto jacket hoodie that it zips it's a kind of a jersey stretchy material so it's almost like a hoodie but it's styled like a moto jacket and it's elevated you know a little dressier than your your workout hoodie um, but it does have a hood okay so there let's say I had jeans on or black pants or whatever um, there's there's a there's the first two pieces of my outfit I could walk around very happily like this right but let's say I'm actually leaving I want to wear a coat instead of wearing my winter coat or a big overcoat my other favorite tip is throw on a blazer like a, a boyfriend this, this is I call this like a boyfriend blazer um, this is from Abercrombie that I got last fall I think um, that's just kind of got a gray check it's still available in some colors I believe but instead of wearing a big coat I would wear this it's a wool you could call it a jacket, a blazer, coat. It's not really a coat. And put that over it. And then I would throw the, let the, the hoodie, the hood come out for that cool, cool girl look where the hood is coming out of the blazer. And there's a great spring layering look. I've got my spring colors. I've got my light neutral. But this is a warm, this is a warm wool jacket. But I can just take it off um, and I, I could end up with just the, the lavender top in the jacket or any combination thereof. So the key is to layer strategically and to have those kinds of pieces, those layering pieces at the ready. And I know you have them. If you've been following me for any amount of time, you have these things. It's just a matter of giving some thought when you get dressed. You know, look at the weather. See, see what the what the what the weather is at the time you're getting dressed see what it's going to be you know halfway through the day and see how the day is going to end and what find out what the feel like temperature is going to be because that's always key as well and then you got to depend on where you're going what you're doing um put these combinations together um okay let's talk about shoes because <laughs> then you're like well what shoes am i going to wear you know obviously if it's still winter my go-to you know today if i go out I would wear my, um, with this, I would wear my, it's this color, taupe. Um, I have Blondo lug sole waterproof booties. They're, they, they're like this, only they're lug. I don't have them right here, do I? No. I would wear these today. Actually, I'd probably wear my snow boots today. But, you know, on a normal day, that's what I would wear in this, this time of year. Um, as it gets warmer out i'd probably transition to to or le less sloppy out i'd transition to a shoe like this the next my next stage as it gets even warmer that i've already worn this year because we've had some warmer days is a loafer with no socks just bare ankles bare feet or you could wear a liner if your bare feet bothers you that a, a shoe like this and and i and i just got these i like the lighter color um is what i would wear if I'm wearing what I have on, but more casually, and I have pictures of these outfits I'm going to post later today, my go-to good old leather sneaker this time of year, all day long, you know, they are fantastic. Um, somebody asked about um, ballet flats versus loafers. This season, ballet flats are back, and they are very popular. They're not for everyone. I personally opt for these i think because i'm a bigger person with bigger feet i just they just work better for me and um ballet flats i think they're too flat for me 
um, and my feet. That I just I I like them, but I like I like a shoe like this better. And yes, you can wear these all spring, summer, all all fall. These are these are um, apps. Somebody asked if a shoe like this is only for the winter because of the big lug sole. No, you're gonna see these all spring with you know um, ankle ankle length pants, um, wide leg, straight leg jeans. Just no socks. No socks in the spring with these. No socks in the winter with these either, I don't think. Maybe black ones, depending. I, I never have, but with a color like this, you're definitely not going to wear a sock, in my opinion. Um, but but ballet flats if, if are hugely, hugely popular. I would tend to hold off on ballet flats until it's a little warmer where you are. I just think of them as being a little more of a warm weather shoe. Um, but a lot of you are already there and you're gonna see the two-tone, like that Chanel-esque looking ballet flat with like the tan with the black toe. Those are really popular. Those are those are great looking. Um, you're gonna see a lot of those this spring as well. Um, let me see if anyone has any questions. Where are my glasses? I'm still a little, I'm a little flustered. I feel better, but I'm still not 100% back to being myself. And I can't see. Ah! I'm sorry. Um, let me share another trend. You're gonna you're gonna hear a lot about boucle jackets, ladies. Boucle jackets. The sh again, it's because Chanel made me think of it. Sh jackets and in cardigans too. Um, and I'm looking to add some to the spring style system catalog. You know the collarless, shorter. I have one similar. Um, jackets these are back you might even have one in your closet that you can pull out that will be fabulous um this style jacket is going to be huge and a, and a, and jackets are your are your you know they are your friend when it comes to transitional dressing i'm going to put this on just realize it would look great with what i have on i'd probably put a gold necklace on instead but um if you if you have you know events to go to this spring, jackets a jacket is the single most important thing you can have I think for spring events. It instantly I mean look at that <laughs> instantly just jazzes up a casual look. I mean I went from my cardigan. See how the jacket just gives me instant chic. It just ups the ante <laughs> big time and especially this like ladylike silhouette is really really cool um i could i could wear the sweater um if you're not a tucker this great thing about a jacket like this is it gives you that instant waistline you can you can leave your shirt slight you know untucked a little bit longer and then you have the shorter jacket and that layered look creates shape without having to do the tuck. Um, has a little bit of a shoulder thing going on, so it's nice structured. You know, you, when you're looking at a jacket like this, you you don't want to go get it at, you know, Target or Amazon. I'm sorry, not to, maybe Target. Target pulls these things off. I'll have to look. But when it comes to jackets, like I said last time, fewer jackets, better jackets is my, my mantra. But a jacket like this, especially when it is giving that, you know, that Chanel kind of look, you want it to be of high quality of, it has to fit you perfectly in the shoulders. You don't want it to be oversized. You don't want it to be too small, too tight either, but um, it's, it, it's more of an investment for it to look just right, I think. But if you have events to go to, a jacket like this, you know, you can put it over a dress, you can put it with a blouse and a pair of, you know, cream trousers. Um, it's just, it's just, it has wow factor. All right. So this, I forget the name of it is also from Cabby. If you have any, if anything I've mentioned, if you want links, you can just message me or let me know below and I can get you information on them. But, um, again, a lot of us, I don't, um, Mary did, I believe had a, a you know, this style jacket in your closet, if you've kept it and it's still in good shape and it's, you know, it's, modern looking and you can get away with it you're good to go um 
<laughs> Let me think. I had other things. Oh, I was thinking of another tip as far as spring trends go. This is just a tip because every year, you know, a tra like an off-white or a cream trouser pant is really popular. And that's the one thing I would say to look for now because they always sell out. White pants or cream pants, you know, get very popular this time of year as people have events to go to and to shop for. And then when it comes time for the actual event, when they're looking to buy those things, they're sold out in their sizes. So if you do need a pair of, of you know, especially not, not black or navy, but white or cream trousers, whether you want like a cropped wide leg or a full length, trouser pant start looking now because they always sell out they do they always do they sell it in the winter they sell it in the spring white pants those they don't make enough of them i guess and by white i mean it could be cream it could be off-white be tan um they always seem to sell out so start looking now they are a great piece to have for those spring events especially when you have jackets sweaters blouses that you can wear with them, you know? And then as far as a shoe goes with a pant like that, I would go with a neutral, tan, you know, taupe, tan, whatever your favorite neutral is, light, close to your skin tone, he heel, like a little bit of a heel. It can be a kitten heel, or very popular, a little tiny, it doesn't have to be, um, or it could be, a, it could be a pointy toe flat, as long as the pant leg length is right. But um, just a, a neutral shoe with those white pants, and then you can have fun with your blouses, jackets, and that's just a great um, go-to outfit for daytime type events, um, which is completely off topic. I'm completely rambling here, but that's what I do. Um, anyway, you're gonna remember to balance. You're not gonna wear your winter coats over your summer, spring clothes. You're gonna wear your, oh, your, like, win your fabulous wool coats that aren't warm enough in the winter. You're gonna wear those with your springy, outfits when it's still cold you can remember that kind of balance you're gonna you know you're gonna remember your colors pull out your light bright colors your favorite pastels whatever colors you like think about wearing your colors now that's an easy way to just add spring to your look wear your regular jeans booties and a colored sweater and then you know a different and then wear maybe wear your you know boyfriend blazer instead of a big winter coat. And there you go. You've just springified your winter clothes, right? It doesn't have to be complicated. It really doesn't. I know I'm making it sound complicated, but it's not. Anyway, I think I'm gonna stop talking now. I'm gonna go back and see if anyone had questions. I'm gonna post links if you want them, any links you want. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of comments here that I can't see because I don't have my glasses. But um, it was fun talking at you. And sorry, I'm not a little bit more prepared, <clears throat> but it is what it is, right? And quick plug for the spring style system. A lot of you posted questions um, that were more kind of one-on-one, -on -one, like what to wear to an event, to a shower. I can't answer those questions, you know, in this kind of format. But I do answer those questions in my seasonal style system private group. So I highly encourage you, especially if you have a lot of events this spring, to get yourself in there. It's not open yet. It will the registration will start in the next week or two. Um, it's but there's an e, there's a text of the sorry a link that you can click to get on my wait list so you'll know when it launches. Um, but I'll obviously be letting you know too if you follow me. And it should be soon, and you'll, there's a gr that's a great place to get more one-on-one -on -one answering of your more specific personal questions. Um, and it's a lot of fun, and spring is great, and um, it's, it's a great group of women, so I hope you'll join us. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you for being here. If you haven't already, go just get dressed, maybe put on some color, and have a great day. And I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye for now.